I go? Taking the funicular up the top of the hill to see the abandoned bobsled tracks. Oh wow, look at this view. Just amazing. Yes, it's just starting to rain. Okay, so I'm on the top of the hill uh, I'm looking for the abandoned lost track tracks can't really find them uh, maybe I'm a bit lost it should be easy I, I guess maybe I'm just not good with directions directions not directions <laughs> uh, okay there's a map here let me see if I can find the right way Pretty cool up here, by the way. Not many tourists here. Highly recommend it so far. Let's see, you are here. Uh, Bobsack track should be okay on that side, I think. Let me see. All right, so first, let's go. Let's try and go up the viewpoint first just to you know see the views yeah but again Sarajev Bosnia really enjoying it so far it's my second day here so I arrived yesterday um, I arrived at my guest house at like 1 p.m. afternoon just enough time for me to grab something to eat um, and I just walked around and if you go to Bosnia if you go to Sarajevo one place I highly recommend you to go it's like the Museum of Crimes Against Humanity um, it's not for everyone I mean it's a bit heavy but it basically just describes the war that happened um, in Bosnia uh, a bit it's civil war kind of not really civil because it had the interference of two outside countries but um, I mean if you just read about it you understand a bit better and the the thing the videos that you see in the museum and the pictures and the, the stories I mean it's amazing how that stuff happened back there back then um, and the museum they don't pull any punches either you just see like 
a picture of a kid that just got shot, shot by a sniper, just laying on the ground, blood everywhere. Uh, there's pretty, pretty graphic videos of bombings, like bodies just all messed up. Again, it's a bit heavy, but um, it's important to see so you get a better knowledge of the history of this country. Highly recommend it. Okay. <laughs> out of red already. Should work out more. But the views totally worth it. Oh God, look at this. So amazing. Wow. You can't beat this. Look at this. Uh, viewpoint actually looks a bit unsafe, but it's okay. No bars or anything. Okay. Oh wow. Look at this. And all to myself, like no other tourists around. <laughs> really amazing. Really, really, really amazing. Well, I guess it's not the, the end of the video yet. Managed to find some shelter here in this, I don't know what to call it, uh, shelter? Wood shelter? Uh, so I'm just going to pass the time here, waiting for the rain to stop. I'm just, I'm soaking wet. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, yeah. Meanwhile, let's read some of these uh, cultural quotes we have Howie three of the seventh of 2018 hello Ali how are you you have Emina Emin Emiva Emina 16 of the Mar of March of 2019 so it's close Tariq I think Emina loves Tariq no wait Amina et Nidin. So there's an Amina and Amina. Same person? Maybe twins? Oh, but this one's earlier. 11 of the 8th of 2016. Imagine all the couples that came here. Let's confess their eternal love. Until a year later, they broke up because Nedlin. Nedin just spotted Emina and thought, oh, she's hot. Then he broke with Amina to be with Emina. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. Uh, what else? This is upside down. Uh, let me try and read this. So, Dvum Zestus is I can't read this. Sorry. And we have Tariq. Tariq here. There you go, Tariq and Daniel. Maybe for Daniel, close to Daniel. Maybe it's the Bosnian Daniel. 
Then we have Irad Saba. I don't know if it's Irad with Saba or if it's his name, Irad Saba. Then Amra. Amra plus Amar. Names sound really similar. Maybe they're siblings. I don't know. Maybe they got something like a Game of Thrones things thing going on. Ah. Oh. Yeah. This is what happens when you go out in Bosnia and you don't bring an umbrella because you think, oh, it looks so bright and sunny. I should have bother with an umbrella. And then things get wet. Ah, freezing cold. I hope I don't catch a cold here. Ah, wish me luck, my faithful subscribers. Which, by the way, I only have three. I only have, have three crazy guys or girls that decide to follow me for some reason. Uh, oh, RZLP. So RZLP, then we have like four DJ discs there, or four, I don't know, four breasts? Who knows? Then, oh, I don't know if, oh, okay. S plus N. Oh, but look at this one. Robi Jazik Zenka, 2088, oh, okay. So maybe this was the year this little shelter was built. So I'm going to try and translate it. Puramya, I love you for life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Ah, I don't know if this is going to stop, so I'm going to try and risk do the final, final sprint after the funicular. Wish me luck, guys. Oof! Managed to reach a good funicular. Okay, so here we go, guys. I don't know if you could catch any of this. I can't see too much because of the rain. Uh, now that I think about it, I hope it's not too scary or unstable to go down like this. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I can't see shit. This is where I was. right now The image don't look so good, right? Ah, yeah. Ah, Yeah, not the best quality of image, but it's to be expected, right? Ah, uh, ok, 
okay, so it's actually a bit scary right now. This keeps swinging and swinging. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm actually super scared right now. And should be going down a bit slower. Okay, it's just shaking again. Uh, oh god. Yeah. Uh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay, this is going a bit sideways. Uh, This is shaking all over. Oh man, I don't, I don't even want to look down. experience right now I don't know if you can tell by the way that one's swinging on oh, mine swinging as well I'm actually glad now that I can't quite see the bottom of it. I don't want to think how high I am right now. Okay, I'm pretty high. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty tense. Oh, oh boy. It just stop raining. Come on, you can do it. probably can't tell by the camera but this is swinging a lot oh boy the way I can hear the wind right now ah. It's almost done. I can see the end of it. Jesus. Oh. Seems to be a lot of floods down there. Ah. 
Oh well guys, made it. Woof, that was tense. Finally, I reached the end, right at the top, soaking wet. Uh, anyway, still think it was worth it. Totally amazing experience. Uh, sorry, I'm just so tired. All right, guys. If you stuck, stuck around for so, so long, thank you so much. I hope you didn't, didn't think my rambling was a bit boring. It probably was. <laughs> I recognize it, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care and stay safe and dry. So, so far, I've only seen like a total of four other persons just like walking around here. It's amazing that we can just walk around here without any other terrorists like getting in the way you're a shot or disturbing you. You can have this place almost all by to yourself. It's a pr pretty epic thing. Look at this, imagine like many years ago people just sliding down this track in a bobsled now it's like this abandoned thousands of people watching this lights everywhere now nothing it's like laying out here to rot and they don't even charge you to walk around here they just charge you for the funicular other than that, and even then, the price for a two-way trip is pretty cheap in my opinion, so totally worth it. Alright guys, the worst part of this is that when you reach the bottom, you have to go all the way up. I mean, maybe you can go downhill, maybe there's a path, but I read it's not exactly safe. 
because there's still abandoned mines around there. In any case, it started to rain. I heard some thunder a while ago. Uh, let's hope it doesn't start to rain like hard. So I hope I can reach the top fast. <laughs> So I guess we're at the beginning of the bobsled tracks. Let's see what kind of things we see here. So I don't know if you got caught all that. Let's see how cool this is. An abandoned bobsled track from the Winter Olympic Games of 1984, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty surreal, to be honest. All right, jump on. Let's win some medals. This was probably where the the crowd would sit, I guess. Oh, wow, look at that! Amazing. How cool is this?